he did indeed. I think this is your money anyway, so. Hey, Dandy! Sorry, there was a little bit of yelling going on over here, so I did uh, mute that mic. And so we are going to see grand finals here with uh, Dandy Penguin and uh, and Kai. And so this should be a good match. I'm assuming they're going to Smashville first. And uh, currently going to be solo commentating, waiting for Cal Hunter to get over here. We're going to get. Uh, Side to grab it once he uh, gets done paying out people. So it should be a good match. I mean, these are these are the two of the best players in our in our state. Uh, Kai, of course, number one. Uh, Danny, number thirty. It's just doing a very good job of uh, of getting some damage on Sonic. Luigi just does a really good job of uh, converting all of his grabs, all of his uh, hits into more hits, and that just leads to more damage. And then he has an easy ability to kill. And so, uh, just back there almost kills at such an early uh, time in the game. Uh, very, very, uh, very, very early in the game to get a first kill. He's only at 35%. And so, uh, just seeing what goes on here, I mean, jabs. Kai's kind of getting destroyed right now. And so just waiting here, and it looks like Calhunter may be uh, giving off playing a card game. But we may be able to get him back in here. And so uh, I'll have side seven joining me instead. And we'll be commentating this grand finals match here. Uh, yes, we will. And so, uh, so far this has been really solidly in Dandy Penguin's favor. Uh, just doing a very good job of uh, racking up that damage, following up properly, and got a very early kill. He was only at 35% when he took uh, Kai's first stock. Oh, wow. And so, Kai's doing a little bit better now, but... Oh, oh good, forward smash. Forward smash. Got dub. They had a really good uh, fun to watch set in winners finals, I believe it was. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. It was down to the wire. Yeah, it really. Uh, was. Let me update this because it's not 2-0, it is actually 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, they had a really good uh, close set. I was talking to both players and uh, actually Dandy, I was talking to Danny. He was mentioning that he wanted another crack at Kai. He thought he could definitely uh, bring it back. And, and he's showing that now. Yeah. Um, but Kai's slowly bringing this back. Oh, down throw to down B. And so uh, Kai trying to smash DI out of it, a Sonic's fall speed just isn't fast enough to actually make that conversion as easily as someone like Sheik. Like we saw Stingers doing that a lot, uh, getting out of there. Uh, unfortunately, Kai just doesn't have the ability to do so. Yeah. And so, um, tangentially related to, to the match, um, you know, uh, upon release, everybody was talking about Diddy's down throw off it. <coughs> um, and how it was quote unquote brain dead and this, that, and the other. Would you say that Luigi's down throw down beat is along that same line? Or would you give it leniency because it doesn't kill to about 120 and, you know, it's not a, his entire game revolves around it? So, to go back to that, with down throw up air, the biggest problem wasn't the fact that it was a combo, it was a combo that killed at 80%. Yeah. Um, the fact that it's a combo that kill, kills isn't a problem. Lots of characters have that. Uh, I think that. Um, Gets you back through. Good job yes. with the kill there. But I think that Luigi uh, has to do a lot to get that to work. So I do not think it is a huge part. I think it may be a little bit too strong. But I don't think it's brains dead, and I don't think that it uh, it destroys the game. I think it makes uh, Luigi's game fairly strong. Again, uh, the uh, only Luigi in the top 16 was Dandy Penguin. Yeah. So clearly, it's not game breaking. It's not anything like that. I may be a little bit too strong, but there's a lot of things on a lot of characters that might be too strong. And I so, I don't think there's any reason to take it away. You may nerf it a little oh, bit. Oh, that was very nice. So drop out of that, then spring, wall jump off into a forward air. That was that was very that was cute. I, yes. I'm sorry, that was cute. It was, it was very nice. I'll, I'd take it. 
Oh, oh, trying to go for that early kill. Yeah, trying to get him. Oh, oh gets the back air to finish it. Yes. Oh, one, thing, nice. one thing I'm gonna be looking for uh, going forward. Uh, Danny kind of picked this up near the end of the game, or started putting it uh, in use uh, near the end of the set in winners finals. Luigi's down B to just straight up stuff. Spin dash. Spin dash. Yeah. yeah. You know, on paper or just thinking about it, you was like, well, obviously that would work, but you think that it wouldn't come out fast enough to, to be able to do anything. But but the thing is, he uses it while he's landing, so he's sliding. Yeah. He's safe from spin dash, and the hitboxes are already out, so he can stuff spin dash with it. It's very good. Um, so I hope that uh, he does have the ability to uh, actually do that, to get that taken care of and uh, stuff like that. Because I, I would love to see the bracket reset here. I think Dandy can beat Cat. He did beat him at the last tournament here. Dandy was actually the last uh, winner at the Mulligans yep. tournament, the Mulligans Weekly. Yep. You see there during that exchange, uh, oh, good uh, weight on the up smash, which is Kai is like super consistent with. He's very patient with that uh, forward smash. Yes. There's no doubt about that. He does a good job just not even getting top level players with it, as we saw at uh, SmashCon. He hit Angel Cortez with it, I do believe. Um, so. And had he not misspaced um, that for a smash, that, that could have been a different story. But It, it could have. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Yep. Almost can only cast on horseshoes and hand <laughs> that, is that is true. I thought this was going to turn out like the start of the last game. But Kai brought it back so well last game, yeah. and now uh, it's kind of riding strong. that momentum into this one. He gets the uh, back air. He does. He does a good job hitting with those back airs. He does a good job baiting it out, waiting for it, and knowing when you're going to air dodge and when you're not. Because when you think you're going, he's going to bait an air dodge. He just smacks you with it. And you know, I think, I think something like that uh, with Sonic, it's a lot easier for him to get some stuff like that simply because his jump animation is, you know, he's in a ball. So you can't really. You've got an idea of what's coming, but you don't know when it's coming, per se. Yeah. And there's no animation tells. No doubt about that. And he just does, I mean, like, again, he just does such a good uh, job there of, uh, well, I was talking about Dandy here, sorry. Uh, do, does such a good job of stuffing it uh, with that uh, demi, like we said. He stopped that spin dash approach. But with that, uh, that jumping, it is kind of easier, but it is uh, also uh, a little bit the same as all the other characters, just with the way that you do have to approach it and space it properly. Again, can't drop out of it with Smash DI. Does a really good job of attempting to, but just can't have it. So we've got Kai in the lead here by a sizable margin, a good 70%. Um, looking to take the second side. Two good Louis. I'm looking for that spring gimp. Um, Oh, goodness. Wonderful, wonderful uh, forward smash. Had me fooled there. I thought he was looking for like a turnaround uh, grab. Oh, doesn't quite get the spacing correct on it. Yeah, Kai at this point is just kind of playing a little bob and weave, keep away, but he's, he's going for these edge guards. He wants to clean the stock up. And, and gets it right there. Yeah. Now this uh, match is definitely solidly in Kai's uh, favor, and not just in terms of, oh, he has two socks versus one. Uh, these sorts of positions, uh, this is where Kai wants to be at. He's not known for blowing leads, as it were. So. No, he is not at all. He does a very good job when he is ahead. Um, there's sometimes I've seen him throw out a, uh, a uh, an SD, but it doesn't happen often. Yeah. Um, so, just I mean, solid plays from both of these players, and so I'm, I'm sure this is going to be a good set, and I wouldn't be surprised by a bracket reset on Danny Penguin's side either. Yeah. Oh, good uh, down smash. They're realizing that he uh, had some frames to play with, so let's throw out that down smash. Absolutely. Which covered both options that, uh, uh, two of the options, and the say so and roll in, which Danny has been doing a smidge of once he lands with uh, Oh, oh and so that was <laughs> Stinger's popping off yeah, there. Stinger's popping off. Uh, he's kind of rooting for. I have a feeling he's rooting for Kai here after getting uh, eliminated yeah, from the tournament. I was, I'm assuming so too. He got killed uh, both games by, uh, or both got knocked out of winners and then ended up losing by Dandy and then once Let's again. Uh, yep. Thanks for tuning in, Ron Paul. We love the presidential nominated. Or, no knees, no knees. No knees. There we go. <laughs> Tuning in. Former, former nominee. Sydney. Am 
behind you. I mean, you can drive by. And so, just Luigi doing what Luigi does, getting any any in, and then just pushing it all the way until he can't. Uh, oh, technical error there, and that's oh. going to be a big punish. Oh, does yeah. it? Oh, that, that technical error cost him a sock, and that's what happens once you start getting into the, like the upper levels of play. Is like, you know one technical error, and you just eat so much damage, you lose a stop. That is definitely true. This is coming from experience. <laughs> like, uh, there's been so many times I've made it just a simple, simple tech error and wound up just getting bobbed for it. If you don't make a mistake, oh, that was a beautiful job bringing that is. back. Yeah, good job from Danny to stay composed, uh, realize he's not out of that just because of that uh, tech error. I feel like he has a lot of experience with that because he is a high level Marvel player, and if you get hit in Marvel, you lose. So I think coming back isn't, uh, isn't unusual for him. Something that I've noticed uh, when Kai's gotten trapped in those uh, up tilt locks, yeah. he keeps trying to neutral air out of it. And I'm curious, uh, I would maybe like to see Danny start picking up on his attempts to neutral, neutral air out of it, shield, and then go to a grab pump. Yeah, that would probably get him a little bit further as far as the percentage goes. He just does, uh, Louis G just so strong with his uh, combos. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think that would probably maybe ooh wonderful up smash there uh, be a little bit more optimal um, in terms of both damage and stage positioning. Yes, I think that's absolutely true, and I do think that uh, uh, Luigi he might should use firewalls a little bit more because those also stuff. Oh, that beautiful job there with that down B, getting that kill. All the top there. There's been several instances where Danny's done that. He's just done this raw call out of you know what I'm gonna go up there. We're gonna see how this plays out, and, and if you don't, uh, if you don't air dodge or give me an answer, uh, you're dead. Yeah, and it's it's paid dividends. Uh, there's at least three stocks that I've witnessed uh, between winners finals and this um, that were closed out because of that. Yeah, he, he's just very good uh, at getting those and just saying here here's an option I have. It's kind of safe, but uh, if you don't if you don't uh, hit me or stop it at all. You're going to get hit by it. Yeah, I mean, it's very much like laying all your cards on the table in, in many ways. It's, okay, here's what I got. Let's see what you got. What, what can you do about it? Oh, and he's going to be done. a grab. Yep. Not heavy enough to, uh, to get that there or to live from that. And so Sonic's back there is still good. Hasn't received any nerfs, I don't think. I think people thought it did. I think, uh, I think in the small very one. first one it got nerfed. That's right. Yeah, in the very first patch, I think I got there, but it hasn't been touched since, I don't believe. I was more talking about the uh, new patch, which should have clarified. Uh, uh, but then again, that was mostly placebo. Like with Sheik's forward air. Yeah. It hasn't been changed. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Beautiful. Empty short hop, and then in the catch, the uh, landing with a forward smash. And there you go again with uh, down B clanking with uh, down smash. Or uh, spin dash right there, Yes. And Kai is trying to actually get in here. And I think he might be dead. He is. No, oh, no, he's living exceptional. The eye. Oh, that's tricky. You know, I know when the Sonic does that, they know the spacing and they know the height that they're doing the down. But the you down always do that. But you always do Yeah. It's, it's like learning how that he's gonna suicide. Yeah. And it's heartbreaking if you're the player, you know, against the playing against the Sonic. It's like, no, uh, I got tricked. Down to yeah. and that's gonna that's the yeah, game. That's gonna seal that one. So we got two one for Dandy Penguin. So this is very even. So again, Kai is in uh, winners. Dandy Penguin is in losers. So yep. if Dandy wins this next one, uh, it does just reset, reset the bracket. And he has to do it all over again. And so just gonna go through here and see. Looks like they're actually doing some some legit banning here. And they're not just gonna. Go to Smashville, which is where uh, I'm sure Kai wants to go to. Yeah. Kai loves uh, Smashville. Oh, no, they're going straight to Smashville. And so, Kai is just a very aggressive Sonic, and that was something that was noted at SmashCon. Not many people had, had seen that. And in retrospect, like I'm glad he's an, uh, uh, an aggressive Sonic, but at the same time, like I kind of wish he wasn't, because uh, there's not many Sonics that play like he does. Yeah. Uh, case of point, I played one earlier in Bracken. Really good Sonic. I'm not taking anything away from him, but I've been so used to playing Kai's aggressive Sonic that I had no idea really how to handle the... Uh, the uh, campy? Yeah, well, yeah, the hit and run, campy, you know, style. So I just... 
Yeah, I lost. Uh, but I kind of were just picking up on stuff a little bit later. Yeah. That's not tell for another time. Just just to reiterate, the Kai plays a little bit differently, or significantly differently from most Sonics. Yeah, it is. But a lot of people like watching the style, but a lot of people don't like the uh, technical game of get in there, hit, and then go away. Yeah. And oddly enough, Kai, we've, I've talked to him about it a couple of times, like he honestly doesn't think that this is the optimal way to play Sonic. Yeah. But he thinks he enjoys playing it that way, so this is what he thinks is the most fun. And I can respect that. And that's the thing about Kai is he doesn't play like a super top tier character. Sonic's good, but no one's ever been like, Sonic's the best character in the game. Maybe for a time period, people were debating it, but I don't think at this point like, yeah. he's up now. The people were debating, a lot of people were the best in the game. Yeah. For no reason. I mean, it was at the beginning when it was obviously Diddy Kong or Sheik. At the time, I probably would have put Sonic in that conversation, to be honest, with his, really? yeah, with his non nerf throw, back throw. And oh, Sonic beautiful. Stuff, yeah. Beautiful up smash there by, uh, by Dandy. Feeling out of that first stock. Now, Luigi's up smash, that has invincibility on the head, correct? Or is that just Mario? I'm not sure. That's actually something I should probably look up and know in this matchup. But I've never done it. I haven't really played against many Luigi's, to be honest. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I goof around with Luigi, and so I feel like I should know this. But back throw. Back throw. No. Not quite gonna kill. Lo yeah. Oh, oh that was very nice. That was absolutely beautiful. Dandy yep. giving some props in the middle of the game. Yeah. Beautiful uh, back air there yeah. by Dandy. Run off, uh, double jump back air. Uh, this is just, this is a very close game, even though uh, Danny Dandy has the percentage lead. Yeah. But he's cooking, though. He's cooking with that. Oh, that's a nice little run off, or almost a ledge cancel neutral. Not, not really, but the. Yeah. Uh, no, I know exactly what you mean. Very, very strong play. Does Luigi have uh, invulnerability on his head when he uses his up smash? Tune in. Uh, yeah, let us know, chat. That would be great. Because I'm because we're terrible commentators and scrubs, and we don't know this. We don't we don't know the game. We don't, yeah, we don't know anything. We about just this. talk. We just look at the game and see what's going on. Yeah. What are those? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> <laughs> Again, Danny trying to uh, clank or fly, beat out spin dash with that down B. Uh, and I think it traded that time. So yeah, and it gets and the that's kill. going to be that. He does have invulnerability on his head. Okay. I thought so. Dandy is on the verge of resetting this bracket. He's got a comfortable uh, lead. Oh. Did he throw the up air just in case that spring hit, but he, he dodged it completely. Okay. One thing you'll see a lot of people do whenever, or a lot of higher level players do whenever they play a Sonic, is anytime. So, oh! Goodness, that was a that weird reverse. trajectory yeah. that Florchot had. Got Ooh, him with got back. Him. Yeah. Now we're knotted up. Um, one thing you see some people do, or a lot of people do, who are higher level or what have you, is um, throw out hitboxes anytime Sonic uses the spring. Because as soon as the hitbox collides with it, the hitbox, uh, the spring Spring's loses its yeah. hitbox. Right. But that's that's most hitboxes as well. As long as they're not uh, disappearing and reappearing. Sheik's forward air, for example. If you shield it, you can grab it. Uh, if not properly spaced. Let me let me clarify that. So, this is just a traditional Sonic game um, that you're seeing here. Spin dash in, get uh, get hits on people, and then a uh, typical Luigi game, throw fireballs, force your opponent into bad positions. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much all that's happening here. Uh, Dandy has actually done a pretty good job with stage control here, but uh, Kai has done a good job bringing it back, and that's what you were talking about yeah. there. Using that down B to neutralize uh, that, that side, uh, side B. And really... Like, it happens so quick, you know, like, it yeah. starts up, and Luigi's moving towards you a lot faster than what you're accustomed to seeing Luigi yep. move at you, uh, so it can definitely throw off some stuff. Oh, it doesn't get the hit, and, oh, it falls out of it. Yeah, I'm really impressed with it being this late uh, in the match, you know, last stock, last yeah. hit situation to possibly lose or reset the bracket of... Um, that mom's spaghetti has to come out. Because yeah. I've always said, last these situations are where bad smash happens. Oh, it's, it's definitely true. Something bad happens. We saw it with Stingers there. Yeah. Um, it does It does happen. Well, I'm not talking about badness in, in terms of 
unfortunate. I don't know about bad in terms of just scrubby. Like oh, everybody's oh, inner right. scrub definitely yeah. comes out in these situations. They they kind of panic, but yeah. I mean, these are two high level players. They know what they're doing. They know what their character can do. They're not worried. Oh, oh expert navigating around that spring. That's so tough for Luigi to do. Dandy Dandy is no ordinary Luigi. Oh, and again, like if Kai is gonna want to get this thing, how did that spring not hit? I don't know. If Kai wants to get this thing wrapped up. He's gonna have to find. Oh, a technical oh, mom. That is game. Uh, mom's. Oh no, it's not. no, it's not. Oh, how is that not game? Oh, again, oh. Kai went for the read. He had it. He dropped and, it, and that's oh, gonna that be. We got a bracket reset. Oh, so that is zero what did I say? zero. Oh, I think they just uh, agreed to split. Okay. Okay, they agreed to split. That makes me mad. That makes me mad.